This is Inside Tameside. The headlines. Pedestrian hit by truck in Audenshaw. BBC Crime Watch appeals for information in the murder of Kieran McGrath. And Mosley's knitting project goes down a storm. From the heart of Tameside, Ashton, Hyde, Staley Bridge, Denton, Duckinfield, Audenshaw, Troilsden, Mosley. This, this is Inside Tameside with Anna Fletcher and Mark Phillip. A pedestrian has been hit by a tipper truck in Audenshaw. Emergency services, including an air ambulance, arrived on the scene on Moss Way near Ashton Fire Station shortly after 8.20am on Tuesday. The man who'd suffered a head injury was taken to hospital for treatment. The A635 Manchester Road was closed in both directions, causing significant traffic delays in the area. The police received a positive response in connection to the murders of Kieran McGrath and Charlie Singh after an appeal on BBC Crime Watch on Monday. Kieran was shot outside the Sheldon Arms pub in Ashton at the beginning of October and Charlie Singh died from a gunshot wound in Openshaw just a few weeks later. The appeal comes after three men were arrested on suspicion of murder in the case of Kieran McGrath last Wednesday. They have been bailed until March pending further inquiries. Tameside job seekers are being offered free creative digital training worth over £1,000. The free course will cover the latest creative software plus one-to-one -one mentoring including CV writing and business planning. Lasting eight weeks, the Click training programme makes way for the launch of a new arts and learning centre for Mosley, which will open this summer. The big local hub has officially opened in Staley Bridge thanks to a visit from the Mayor of Tameside. The big local has been given a £1 million budget from the National Lottery to spend over the next 10 years. One of their aims is to invest the money in the Arley Springs, Ridge Hill and Hague estates by offering different services to residents at the hub. Mosley's yarn storming event and the town team markets were hailed a success despite the chilly weather after crowds of people visited the market ground to see it covered in knitting as well as shop at the 40 stalls put on by local businesses at the George Lawton Hall. The Just Say No campaign, which is against the paid parking recently implemented on the market ground, was also present, leading a march against the changes from bottom to top Mosley. And finally, new mum Caroline Underwood has spoken exclusively to the Tameside Reporter and Tameside Radio after her recent appearance on Channel 4's The Undateables. Caroline made national headlines eight years ago when she awoke one morning to find herself paralysed and has had to use a wheelchair ever since. Since then, she has rebuilt her life, made several appearances on television, found love and is now looking forward to the most wonderful Mother's Day ever as a mum herself. Now for all your latest sporting news, here's Mark Phillip. Football dominates the news this week, with Glossop North End in particular. The Derbyshire outfit secured an FA Vars six-round replay last weekend following a two-all draw against Charlene and Aquaforce. The Hillman fell behind twice in the fixture, but Kelvin Lugston rescued his side a replay with a headed effort in the 78th minute. The replay is scheduled to take place tomorrow at Surrey Street, where a win for Glossop would secure them a place in the semi-final of the competition. Elsewhere, Hyde Football Club made it three games unbeaten on Monday evening with a 1-0 win against Solihull Moors. The game looked as if it was going to be a goalless stalemate, but Ryan Masterson's late effort secured maximum points for Gary Lowe's side. The Tigers are back at Ewing Fields tomorrow, where they are set to take on promotion chasing Geisley. And finally, the Tameside Football League's annual dinner last Friday was regarded as a huge success. Guest speaker on the evening was Southampton Football Club legend Matt Letissier. The 44-year-old spoke to a packed-out Premier Suite in Audenshaw, where prizes were auctioned off to raise funds for the league. As always, you can catch me on Tameside Radio tonight from 6 until 7pm for Sporting Spotlight, where I'll be previewing the weekend's football fixtures in depth. If you want to feature on the show, then you can contact me on the address listed below. Thanks, Mark. As always, you can read all these stories and more in this week's edition of the Tameside Reporter and Glossop Chronicle.